All right, so we're going to talk about how to calculate torque and um, what happens to the torque and speed of a gear mesh uh, when a certain gear is a drive gear and another gear is the driven gear. So if we look um, at our picture here, we have we have A, which has 60 teeth. And we have gear B, which has 30 teeth. Okay, so I'm going to put a little asterisk to the uh, gear that is the drive gear. Remember, the drive gear is the gear that is attached to the motor. All right, so this is the drive gear. A is the drive gear, customer says driver. All right, and so um, if we look at our uh, gear combination, we want to determine if this is going to be a speed reduction. with a torque increase or a speed increase with a torque reduction. Okay, and so S is for speed, down is for reduction. Uh, this is called tau, which is a Greek symbol, tau. Tau is a Greek symbol. Uh, tau is, uh, if this is uh, for torque, so if this is a torque increase, then you have speed increase, torque uh, decrease. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you want to uh, determine which combination it is. So if the drive motor is the big gear and the smaller uh, gear is the driven gear, so if it's from a big to small, this is going to be a speed increase with a torque decrease all right so let's go ahead and uh, do our calculations so um, let's first calculate the uh, gear ratio so gear ratio is the drive over driven so drive is a over b driven okay 60 over 30 how many times does 30 go into 60? That is two times. And uh, 30 goes into itself one time. So the gear ratio is going to be a two to one. All right. All right, and so we're, now we have to uh, get uh, the torque for the um, driver and we need to figure out the speed of it so um, we're going to take information from the vex website so if we go to the uh, vex website this is for the two wire motor 393 um, it's a vex motor and the we need to know the stall torque and we need to know the free speed so we see that the stall torque is 1.69 newton meters, and we see that the angular velocity or speed of it is 100 revs per minute. So that's what we're going to use to uh, figure out what is the reduction or an increase. So we go back. So we said the angular velocity of the motor is going to be 100 revs per minute. And the torque, the torque is going to be, what was that again? 1.67. 1.67 Newton meters. Okay, so now all we have to do is just take the non-one number of this gear ratio. So what is the non-one number in this gear ratio? It's two. All right, and we said that this is going to be a speed increase and a torque reduction. So all we do is just uh, increase. So increase would be multiplied by two. And the reduction, you divide by two. All right, so this is going to be the new torque new is due velocity new velocity is going to be 200 revs per minute and the new torque 
is going to be it's going to be a very small number. Point eight three. Point eight three newton meters all right and so this will give you uh, a speed increase on this 30 uh, teeth and it's not going to be as strong and so you might want to use this combination for uh, a wheel um, drive mechanism because you want that increased speed of whatever device that you're building that's a car or something like that um, but the next video we're going to do it opposite where the drive gear is the 30 teeth and the driven gear is the 60 teeth and we're going to figure out what happens from there. All right. Thank you.